Glimmer is very beautiful, beautiful sparkly pink gown. Really, really passes off her look, too. Yeah, yeah, it does. Well, I guess that was District 1, Glimmer and Marvel. And look, our second tributes are coming out. Kato and Chloe from District 2. Two. Yes. Um, I really like the yellow feathers. Definitely. This really brings off their chariots very much. Definitely totally Roman. And they absolutely look gorgeous. The crowd favorite. Wow, it's District 3. They're absolutely gorgeous in their wonderful wires, actually, representing all of their technology. Again, this was District 3. Oh, look! Next up is District 4. Aw, oh, the little boy on the left, or the little 14 year old, was definitely the crowd favorite. These two couple were absolutely beautiful. Santonio and the, or the dashing Santonio and the beautiful fox face. So far, these two kids have the most shiniest outfit because of their moon rings on their face. But it still makes them have the most gorgeous glow. If it was anybody who can pass off paper, it could be these two. Again, this was District 7. I bet the designers took a long time to make this, this outfit because it's made of full fabric, leather, leather, and feathers. Again, this was District 8. I bet it took in the designers hours to make them. It took a, a lot of glitter and a lot of fabric. Sweet home, random cowboy. Here comes the big time cowboys of District 10. I'm surprised they're not riding horses. <laughs> I said, uh, I'm surprised they're not riding horses. I said, I'm surprised they're not riding horses! Guys, you just have to be on fire out there. That's all I can say. Everyone's applying everybody out there. You gotta be the one to get the big audience. Katniss, you're the girl that's on fire, and you remember that. Whoa, look here, it's coming. It's Little Miss Rue and Thresh. Except these are definitely the most biggest crowd favorite yet. With their really cute agriculture costumes, these guys are definitely one of the biggest crowd favorites yet. Don't worry, Clove, our costumes are way better. At least we didn't look like dirty little farmers. Oh my word, I've never seen this on any tribute in my life. The tributes are literally on fire. What are you doing? Come on, they'll love it. And this was all of our tribute. It's still gonna kill you in the game, so I hope you know that. Yeah, because you're the best ones here. Well, according to the audience or not. Oh, whatever. Welcome, everyone, to the training center. This is where you, you are going to be training to compete in the Hunger Games. But we don't want any injuries here. You can save that all for the games. But for now, we are just going to be training you guys how to fight and survive. So I bet you, we bet you get started. our shot. No. So what? We're it was still my fighting. Hit. No? Okay, you want this to be your hit? Ugh. Oh, so you want this to be your kick? Ugh. Ugh. Hi -ya! Oh, not there. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, you took the target down. Oh, you're so strong, Kato. Wow, thanks a lot, Glimmer. Oh, my God. That means a lot. Baker's boy, Baker's boy, Baker's boy, Baker's boy, Baker's boy. <laughs> the only thing that you're good for is decorating the cakes. <laughs> That's right. 
Hey, maybe you should come to my birthday sometime and bake my cake. Oh, wait. You'll be dead by then. <laughs> so stupid. Hey, Katniss. Peter, what's wrong? Those kids over there, they're saying that I'm a baker's boy and I don't have no use. Peter, don't listen to them. It's not like it's third grade. Yeah. Peter, just, okay, maybe we should just try to... in the Hunger Games. Oh my dog, yes. And you too, so don't think we're coming after you. Come on. Oh, and by the way, I hope up in heaven you can still bake your little bread for your mommy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Peta, why didn't you do anything? Well, I You can't. have to stand up to them. They're not like third graders. Okay. No, I, don't, I have no use. Peta, listen. There's a medicine ball over there, and nobody's thrown it yet, because they're all way too weak. You, If you can throw it, you're the strongest one there. You can so throw it. Just try. You know what? I'm going to do it. Then do it. Oh, Baker's boy! If you can't throw my spear, then you can't throw that little wiener dog, Baker's boy. Just watch me. Katniss, this is your time to show them what you got and who you are. I know you can do this. I've never done an interview, especially with someone like Caesar Flickerman. Don't worry, just be yourself or be humble. All the training and all the beauty work has come this far. You cannot let it go. Wish me luck. I will. I'll be out in the audience. Thank you so much, Caesar. Wow, isn't she a sweetheart, folks? <laughs> Everybody give a great round of applause for Rue from District 11. <laughs> Next up, the girl who was on fire, Miss Katniss Everdeen. Hi. Katniss. So, um, what's your thoughts on the Hunger Games? Katniss, what's your thought on the Hunger Games? Katniss? Um, what, um, oh, what, what was the question? <laughs> what's your thoughts on the Hunger Games? The, the Hunger Games? Well, it's nerve-wracking, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, tell us about your sister, Prim. I volunteered for her. I would do anything for her. I see. I see. Okay, honey, just one more question. If you did win the Hunger Games, what would you do? I would just go home and see my family and my best friend again. That's the only thing I really want in this world. Wasn't she just astounding, folks? Am I right? Am I right? I'm always right, right? Oh, thank you. I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, anyways, darling, that was just a fabulous interview. You are the most sweetest thing ever. And I just want to say thank you. I just want to say that I hope that your sister and your mother will be doing just a fine job in District 12. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jenna. That really means a lot to me. And can we have another round of applause for this fabulous little young lady from District 12? Woohoo! Thank you so much, folks. And after the break, we will be returning with our very last tribute, Peter Malak from District 12. Thank you so much, folks, for that short break. And now we are here with our District 12 tribute, Peter Malak. So, Pizza, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good. Are you pretty nervous that you're in the Hunger Games? Pretty much, yeah. Cool. But I really like it because, um, I really like it here at the Capitol because it makes me smell like roses. Do I smell like roses to you? Well, actually, you do. Yeah, because the showers here are pretty awesome. <laughs> wow, isn't he a sweetheart? I bet he is. So, Pizza, do you have any special girl back at home? Well, I do. Well, I don't, but 
You do or you don't? I don't, but... A hunk like you definitely should definitely deserve a girl. Am I right, folks? So, how about we put it like this? You win the Hunger Games, and you back at home. Or you go back home. You have to have her, right? The only problem is, she came here with me.